Welcome to Motivated Results, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've been kind of slacking on the content lately and only been giving you guys workout videos, so I thought I would come back to the good stuff. It should all be good stuff, right? So today, I wanted to review, well, as you may know by the title, you clicked on the damn video. Today's review is going to be on um, this book. You guys have probably seen this floating around on many YouTube fitness uh, pages, you've probably seen this a lot on different um, fitness blogs and all that good stuff. This is a very popular book right now. The idea behind this, and, and by the way, if you don't know about this book, it's written by Dr. Kelly Starrett. People question the validity of his doctorate, but we won't get into that. Um, we'll talk about the book in essence, and the idea is that um, his philosophy, for, if you will, is more so about the idea of movement and the idea that your body is supposed to function a certain way and when you have muscle imbalances or injuries your body compensates and so the book does a two-fold process one teaches you um, the theory behind torque and the way the body's supposed to move the difference between different systems in the body as far as um, movement kinesiology whatever you want to really call this and then at the same time it teaches you movements as to how to correct some of the issues that you may have and also different techniques on um, different things that help you to loosen up your body a little bit. Some of which we might have already talked about which is um, smashing, foam rolling. Um, he uses actually like barbells to actually do a little bit stronger form of smashing and he does a lot of different things. Um, the, the book itself retails, depending on where you get it, anywhere from 30 bucks to about 60. And um, quick you review, if I feel like most people should have this in their repertoire, not, not to maybe completely read the full thing, but just to have it. That way if you ever get injured or if you're ever tight or you find yourself being tight in certain movements or in certain, huh, I just saw the camera and there's like logos everywhere. Uh, non-intentional so if you find yourself being tight this is a good point of reference so that you can go back and find things to find things that will help you go move forward maybe improve your flexibility maybe help prevent an injury maybe help fix an injury whatever it is this this book is a pretty good resource um, it is a very lengthy book it's hard to show you guys exactly how lengthy the book is um, I kind of have many things bookmarked in here depending on what my issues are and you know as things change my issues continue to change so like I mentioned it's a pretty good point of reference I'll even show you guys a couple pages um, he actually does go through and show you proper technique on a lot of different movements anything from you know a deadlift to an overhead press um, definitely shows you um, his philosophies on your core and your trunk and the way it's supposed to be positioned, the way it's supposed to move and then the way it's supposed to, you know, bend at certain hinges versus other people that tend to have the incorrect movement patterns. Um, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stretches, I don't know if you can get that. A lot of cool stretches that, you know, you might be interested in, you know, the famous kipping pull-up. Now. One thing about this book is that it is very popular with uh, CrossFitters, so um, I know if I have any comments, negative comments, it's gonna be from them. But it does go through a lot of, you know, Olympic lifts and a lot of proper technique on a lot of these things, and a lot of really cool stuff. Huh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? If I can get that in focus, but you get what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I feel like this book is really beneficial for anybody. My thoughts, the negative thoughts on my part from this book is that I don't agree 100% of what Kel, Dr. Starrett or Kelly Starrett posts about in this book. One of my big pet peeves, or one of my, not pet peeves, one of the big things for me that I disagreed with on the book right away was his idea of applying torque with your feet. Now before you go crazy, because I do agree with applying torque, I find myself that if I'm able to plant my feet and apply torque on the outside, it ends up bringing my hips in, tightening it, cinching everything, and, and bringing it all back to balance, which helps correct the, you know, some of my issues, if you will. What I don't agree is his idea that somewhere in the book, 
I believe it mentions that he wa ido goes as far as to say that you should almost be squatting parallel. And the idea is that you should be producing torque as you do when you're standing so that your body produces torque. And to me, it's very counterintuitive for me to squat in this position. You know, everything you know has its, its negatives and positives. Uh, for the most part, I feel like this book is, is a huge benefit to anybody that's doing any sort of physical exercise. If you're not looking to do any sort of power cleans, if you're not looking to do any sort of um, lifting per se, this book is still invaluable in the different things that he teaches you on how to relax and how to uh, achieve a higher level of flexibility or maybe even fix some of the issues that you have already because of either conditions that you've already been predisposed to or things that you've done to yourself. So either way, um, at a bare minimum, I suggest definitely looking into the book just for that piece. But that's my quick review. It's probably not as quick as I would have liked it to have been, but there you go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button and we'll see you guys next time.